हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर गरिमा आई एम सेकेंड ईयर रेडियोलॉजी पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट इन छत्रपति शिवाजी सुभारती हॉस्पिटल द टॉपिक फॉर माय ओरल पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन इज अ रेयर केस ऑफ न्योनेटल हाइड्रोकॉल्पोस कॉफमैन मक्यूसिक सिंड्रोम सो द एम विल बी टू एग्जिबिट द इमेजिंग फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ न्योनेटल हाइड्रोकॉल्पोस मक्यूसिक सिंड्रोम a one day old female neonate presented with abdominal distension and urinary retention on clinical examination an abdominal lump was felt she also had post axial uh, polydactyly in both hands and feet she was diagnosed with megacystitis antenatally at 33 weeks of gestation so uh, you can see, uh, you, uh, we can see the photograph of the baby's hand and feet showing post axial polydactyly After detailed antenatal history, the patient underwent abdominal radiography, ultrasound, and MRI. And uh, so, an abdominal radiograph revealed a large soft tissue density abdominal pelvic mass displacing the bowel loop superiorly and laterally, with no obvious signs of bowel distension. As you can see in this uh, abdominal radiograph, this is the uh, soft tissue density uh, mass which is displacing the bowel loop superiorly and laterally. Ultrasonography revealed a large, well-defined, thin-walled abdominopelvic cystic lesion with uniform low-level internal ecos with fluid debris level within. The lesion was seen posterior to the urinary bladder and extending till the epigastric region superiorly and to the symphysis pubis inferiorly. The ut uh, uterus was not seen in the pelvis. Mild bilateral hydronephrosis was also noted. On the basis of the ultrasound findings, a provisional diagnosis of hydrometrocolpus was given. so these are the ultrasound images showing the cystic structure with fluid debris level and was this was seen posterior to the urinary bladder <clears throat> also uh, there was bilateral hydronephrosis on mr there was accumulation of fluid intensity that is t1 hypointense and t2 hyperintense contents within the vagina the resulting distended vagina was extending above the level of umbilicus displacing the large bowel loop superior medially and uterus and urinary bladder anteriorly and superiorly bilateral hydronephrosis was likely secondary to the mass effect from the above structures both ovaries were not visualized separately so this is the uh, t2 axial image showing that cystic area with uh, fluid debris level on sagittal images this was uh, found to be distended vagina which is ex extending above the level of umbilicus and displacing the large bowel loop superiorly and medially and the uterus and urinary bladder anteriorly and superiorly on exploratory laparotomy the finding of hydrocolpus was confirmed which was caused by cervical atresia and imperforate hymen the hypertrophied vagina was excised and vagino uterine anastomosis and hymenoplasty was done so mkks is an autosomal recessive disease and was first described by mckusick in 1964 it occurs due to mutation in the mkks gene which is present in 20 p12 location such mutations result in formation of defective protein which is similar to the members of chaperonin family leading to anomalous limbs heart and and uh, so an abdominal radiograph revealed a large soft tissue density abdominal pelvic mass displacing the bowel loop superiorly and laterally with no obvious signs of bowel distension as you can see in this uh, abdominal radiograph this is the uh, soft tissue density uh, mass which is displacing the bowel loop superiorly and laterally though mkks is rare in males if present it is sometimes associated with hypospadiasis cordy and cryptorchidism polydactyly is present in 90% of cases it is predominantly post axial and rarely meso axial syndactyly may also be encountered mkks shows association with congenital heart defects such as uh, atrioventricular canal defects ventricular septal defects and hypoplastic left heart uh, from 10 to 20% of cases other less commonly associated findings are uh, gastrointestinal abnormalities that consist of imperforate anus rectovaginal or vesicovaginal fistula hirschsprung's disease and malrotation abnormalities of the eyes are also mentioned in literature 
Bardet Biddle syndrome also presents with post axial polydactyly and hydrometrocolpus. It is an autosomal recessive disorder characterized by retinal dystrophy or retinitis pigmentosa, post axial polydactyly, obesity, nephropathy, and mental retardation. The diagnosis can on only be made if four of the five major manifestations are present in a person and remains a difficult diagnosis in infancy as the appearance of several key features is delayed. Typically, MKKS is diagnosed in very young children, whereas the diagnosis of bardet Whittle is often delayed to the teenage years. Other syndromes like Ellis, Van, Krivold syndrome characterized by polydactyly, acromelia and cardiac anomalies, and pellister hall syndrome characterized by facial anomalies, post-axial polydactyly, imperforate NS and CNS anomalies like tencephalic hematoblastomas may also be considered among the differential diagnosis. These are my references. Thank you.